Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Ruji's Food Basti. Today I'm sharing recipe of Sesame Jaggery Laddu, also known as Tilgul Laddu. So without further delay, let's start cooking. For Sesame Jaggery Laddu, first we will dry roast the sesame seeds on medium flame for 3 to 4 minutes. The pan should not be very hot otherwise the sesame seed will get burnt. Keep stirring it so that it gets roasted uniformly. I was roasting it on medium flame for 5 minutes. They are fragrant and golden brown in color. They are also popping up so it's an indication that they are well roasted. Transfer it to a bowl and move to the next step. Next is dried coconut, grated dried coconut. I will not recommend desiccated coconut for this recipe. Dried coconut gives you better flavor and texture. Roasting time for sesame seeds will vary depending on the intensity of your burner. Keep stirring it continuously to avoid burning. We don't want to change the color of the coconut. We just want to get rid of the moisture, we don't uh, over roast it. I was roasting it for 5 minutes, now it's time to take it out. Now let this cool down completely, then we will blend it in the blender. This is a very easy recipe, it doesn't require jaggery syrup. First we will grind the almonds, I'm using almonds instead of peanuts. This is purely personal choice. You can always use peanuts. These are roasted almonds. If you do not get roasted almonds, you can roast it in the pan separately for 4 to 6 minutes. I have not ground it to a very fine powder. It has little coarse texture. Now the next ingredient is sesame seeds, coconut, Just pulse the mixture, don't grind it to a very fine powder. I have ground it to a coarse texture. Next cardamom powder, grated jaggery. I have grated the jaggery so that the blending will be much easier. Again give it a quick mix. I use pulse mode only to grind the mixture. Now our laddu mixture is ready. Transfer it to a bowl. To bind the mixture, we will add some melted ghee. Mix it with your hands. Add some more ghee. Don't add ghee in one go, add in batches. Now take some small portion in your hand. Press it tightly. Keep rolling it till you get a lovely round ball. Press it tightly. See like this. If you feel that you are not able to bind the mixture, then you can pulse it a little. That will also help you. Or you can add a little more ghee. Initially you might feel that they are not binding well but keep rolling it, keep rolling it and you won't be disappointed. You will get a lovely round laddu. Finally our sesame jaggery laddus are ready to eat. Enjoy! Here are some tips for the recipe. Do not over roast the sesame seeds because if you over roast the sesame seeds then, then they tend to give a bitter taste. So avoid over roasting it and keep stirring it continuously for uniform roasting. The second is if you are not able to bind the mixture then one reason can be you, your mixture is very coarse so you need to pulse it once more after adding ghee. Another reason can be your ghee quantity is less so you need to add little more ghee to, so that you can bind it into a lovely laddu. Third is you can store these laddus at room temperature for 3 to 5 days 
but if you want to improve the shelf life then you can store it in the refrigerator for one to two months that's all thank you very much for watching my video hope you enjoyed the recipe please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel hope to see you soon in my next video till then happy cooking take care bye bye